the occupation of Kherson was the biggest success of the Russian army in the beginning of the war. The sudden invasion by Russian forces caught star locals off guard. Thousands of unarmed people protested against Russia's illegal occupation, but were brutally suppressed by the military. Despite extreme conditions in Kherson, there is no running water, electricity and connection. Locals have been celebrating freedom for three days in a row now. They've been gathering at the city central square daily. Residents of liberated Kherson have been bringing power bands and network stations to the square to restore connection. For many, it's their first conversation with relatives and friends in months. I just heard that I didn't know. I saw one accident. I said, go to the square. It stands, it stands, it stands. Ви знаєте, стоїш, це наші, а побачили жовту стрічку, все, боже, у нас така радість, ми почали, це взагалі, 11 числа, 11 місяця, в 11 ранку, пішла техніка, пішли хлопці, люди падають на коліна, люди плачуть, ми всі кричимо, хто в чому, з велосипедами, з собаками, мені прапор подарували, я так його кричувала. The streets are overflowing with Ukrainian flags. Just three days ago, you could easily be captured by the Russians for being near anything resembling the national colors of Ukraine. This woman spent 60 days in prison. Ко мне лично вот они вот приехали два с половиной часа дома нас били, нас пытали, ну как пытали, не то чтобы пытали, они пытались выяснить что-то в телефоне, но мы пока ехали с дачи, поудаляли все группы, как бы чтобы не было никаких ну к нам вопросом, к чему можно было придраться. Они просто придрались в моей переписке с моей сестрой. Сестра на тот момент была в Кривом Рогу. Вот, они не понравилось, что я пишу орки, что я пишу, как мы попали в магазин, заходили, куча солдатов покупали краску. Вот это все, ну, в общем, просто было высосано из пальца. During occupation, Russians put up a lot of billboards and light boxes like that, propagating Russian idea. In the first several hours of the occupation, people turn everything down. This one is still there just because it was a bit too high to reach, but not for long. Despite the constant danger of shelling, President Zelensky arrived in Kherson to speak to its people. For many people in the territory that remain occupied, his words bring hope for their freedom too. But he's not the only one who was greeted as the real hero. Ukrainian soldiers are the rock stars of this celebration. Beaten strategically and in the field, Russians were left with no other option but to flee Kherson. Large numbers of scorched Russian military vehicles on the way to Kherson show just a fraction of the real price they've paid while trying to keep the city under their control. They also show the effort of the Ukrainian armed forces. Recapture of Kherson is really important, not just because it's the only regional center that was captured by Russians since 24th of February, but it's also very important from a strategic standpoint, opening further liberation of the areas around Crimea and the south of Donetsk region. Oleksiy Savchenko, United24 Media.